All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, generate an array of all object keys with object.keys, all right? So we can also generate an array which contains all the keys stored in an object with the object.keys method, all right? I've got this tone because I'm still remembering this one and how incredibly confusing it might be to some people. Because uh, I mean, I'm only saying that because this, when I got into this, this one confused me too, all right? Anyway, so let's get back to it. Uh, so this method takes an object, we're talking about object.keys, this, this method takes an object as the argument and returns an array of strings representing each property of the object. So again, there will be no specific order to the entry in the array. So let's come over here and open up an object.keys JavaScript. Let's open this up in Mozilla and check it out. All right, so here we go. Uh, basically, we just got object.keys, and then we put it whatever object inside of that, and it uh, gives us all the keys. So this one will give us, like you see all the keys here is ABC. This one will give us ABC when we run it. So ABC in this array. All right. So we're going to finish writing the get array of users function so that it returns an array containing all the properties in the object it receives as an argument. All right. So that's easy enough. Uh, so what we're going to do is just return right here. Uh, we'll do the object dot keys. And then we'll just put OBJ right in there because it's uh, this is the argument and we're passing users into it. And so when we put it pass this object users into it, it's going to give us Alan, Jeff, Sarah and Ryan, just like that. Right. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to modify an array stored in an object, and we'll see you next time.